Welcome ladies and gentlemen, today we will use game theories to analyze possibly one of the most popular games in the first person shooter genre in the world, Counter Strike Global Offensive or commonly known as CSGO. It was developed by Valve Corporation and was re released in August 2012. It became one of the most popular games in the world when the game released the Arms Deal Update which is a game mode that grants players a new weapon every time they make two kills. Rules are based on the classic gun game mode, its predecessor, giving the veteran players a classic feel. CSGO already has 15,000 players on the day of its release. Later, it added cosmetic weapon finishes and tags like graffitis, stickers, and skins, increasing the 14 types of fun, discovery, comedy, creation, and beauty. Since then, gamers from all over the world invested their time playing this popular FPS. Valve even added the option to admire your skin in-game by pressing G on the keyboard to make it more immersive and fun on the beauty aspect of the game. In 2015, it was voted as the eSports Game of the Year. By 2016, the game has already sold 25 million units according to Steam Spy. Interestingly enough, their success isn't due to the traditional model of developer to publisher to retailer to gamer. Valve's game distribution is directly from Valve themselves to the gamer using its own popular Steam platform making it very simple and unique. Using the waterfall model, it first released a beta, then changed it based on the gamer's feedback. Their success is due to Valve's active involvement in updating the game even after it was released in 2012. Even players were surprised. One of their most welcome changes since the beta was the matchmaking mechanism. Thanks to this system, players can be paired against the same skill level. This prevents players from falling out of the flow state and meeting opposition too hard or meeting opposition too easy. In comparison to other multiplayer first-person shooters such as Call of Duty or Battlefield, this makes CSGO stand out as more user-friendly and more appealing due to its tailoring mechanism for every type of player. There are also other modes in the game and different servers dedicated to these game modes. There are countless of new mods and new modes created by fans in meta interactivity, but the popular ones are Arms Race, Zombie Mod, Knife Server, Bunny Hop, Surf, Wingman, Death Run, and of course Competitive Mode. According to the Battle Taxonomy of Player Types, players are, who are achievers will love CSGO's achievement list. Every time a player completes a task, they receive a Steam achievement. Likely, players who are explorers will love new maps created by Steam's continuous updates and also fan-made maps made in the Steam Workshop. The Workshop, created by Valve, allows fans to post community-made mods, skins, and maps that are easily integrated into the game should a player select and download them. This provides a new content to satisfy explorers as well as facilitate prosumer culture with prosumer culture artifacts in-game. Players are ranked based on experience when kill over death ratio in competitive play making the game most competitive according to the gamer motivation model. The more kills and fewer deaths results in higher ranking. This will appeal to players who are achievers and killers. With that said, CSGO is heavily competitive in that it's an action genre game, according to Grace. Yet, it also attracts the social crowd from the gamer motivation model. Socializers who love to communicate with real people. They are motivated by the community aspect of social. Game chat allows this to communicate and play casually if the server permits. They can also use microphone to voice chat with other players. Conversely, this strength can also lead to a negative social interaction such as knob noobs being bullied. When new players are criticized and mocked due to the competitive aspect of the game, this can easily lead to new players falling out of the flow state and feel appalled to not play anymore, resulting in leaving the magic circle. Luckily, CSGO has multiple modes to incorporate a variety of players. Those who are not motivated by competition can visit casual servers and join a casual game. Different servers, different game modes, different behavioral rules. Despite, behavioral rules are usually not written down. Servers usually include these on their welcome pages. The game is mostly played on PC with Steam but are available on other platforms too, such as Xbox and PlayStation 3. For our analysis, we will focus on the PC. The PC has modifiable storage space to install the game, and also players can adjust their computer build to have better graphics, 
The downside to this is it can be very expensive as opposed to buying a console and playing it immediately. The benefits of using the mouse allows greater range of control over your aim of the crosshair on the enemy. Your arm width entire arm span is the range of, for moving your arm, giving you full control of the crosshair. With the keyboard, you can do commands with ease. There are hotkeys for common commands. This increases the efficiency of communicating strategy with your fellow teammates. The command keys can be found in the control settings. The foundational rules of how to play the game and the basic actions are also listed here in the game. There are also weaknesses for using mouse and keyboard. One is when players shoot pistol, they need a fast clicking index finger or else they will have a nightmare with shooting manually. Secondly, the need for enough space to move the mouse and also to have a keyboard in place. Use of the mouse makes it easy to use special functions of a weapon by right clicking. Burst fire for Glock, silencer for USP, but it also makes it easy to accidentally switch modes. That's a nuisance for some players. Some players may prefer the easy analog stick on console controls to aim without needing arm space or space for the wide keyboard. Console controllers are much smaller and is a single controller rather than two components. The magic circle begins the moment the player joins a match given that the players have the loosery attitude and play by the rules. No illegal scripts, no hacking, no cheating, no glitching despite some glitches are hilarious. Now here is a good adversary rule or a good tip for players playing competitively. You can choose to be one of the two teams, counter terrorists or terrorists, or C, T, and T, and the terrorists start with the Glock. Due to its burst fire ability, it makes it deadly in close range. Far range, it sucks. So CT are advised to kill T far away during pistol round. If it's a serious competitive match, it's a 5 vs 5. All players must be present before a match begins and cannot join or leave after it's started, or there are serious consequences. Every player begins with $800 in the first round, often known as the pistol round. Depending on the map, the team must complete their objectives. CT must rescue hostages if any, or prevent T's from planting the bomb, and if they do, the CT's must defuse it. Terrorists must prevent hostages escaping, or plant the bomb in bombsite A or B, and prevent it from being defused. The basic objective, which is same for all maps, is to simply eliminate the opposing team. As for laws that became official rules, there aren't many because Steam had created many modes tailored toward different types of players, including competitive mode, which esports tournaments have adopted, except for map banning in which the home team can ban certain maps and the away team can pick the map. In fact, all tournaments have different structures, but they all adapt the originality of the competitive mode in CSGO. In tournaments and competitive mode, it is 30 rounds each game. Whoever reaches 16 wins first wins the game. If it's a more casual match, the server may start each player with maximum amount of money, 16k in the first round, and players can leave or join whenever they feel like. The number of teammates is also flexible and does not have to be specifically 5 versus 5. Behavior rules can range from no illegal scripts to in-game etiquette such as when your teammate is shooting or trying to enter a door, you stand in the way and block them from their target. That is not loud. According to Shell, an object is anything a player can interact within a game. There are many objects in this game, and each have static or dynamic attributes. Player models, for example, are different on both teams, and their clothes are a static attribute. Gunshot wounds would be a dynamic. Likewise, a chicken will still be a chicken is static, but if it's killed, it pops and disappears. If it's alive, it's walking around. That's dynamic. 
A good advisory rule would be to know the static attributes of the environment. Certain items are bulletproof, but some items, bullets can pass through them. Remembering these patterns can help kill enemies hiding behind cover. The most important object, however, is the cursor. Each weapon in the game will have different attributes such as recoil, clip size, and weight, which would affect the player's walking speed. But all of this is represented by the cursor. As a player walks, the cursor enlarges. This results in lower precision when shooting enemies. Therefore, it is vital to time movements appropriately. Stealthing is vital, and knifing an opponent at the back can save bullets, and also make it a noiseless kill. Players must have the mental skill in observing cues, and reacting quickly and precisely. Sounds can be a clue to a nearby enemy, such as footsteps or gunshots. This comes from practice. Physical skill of the game involves reflexes, and fast-paced re pattern recognition based on sound and visual cues. This includes knowing where enemies normally would camp or hide. Studies do show that gamers perform better in psychological pattern recognition tests. The same skill set is required in CSGO, a fast-paced multiplayer FPS. Lastly, social skill in communicating with teammates quickly and efficiently. Using hotkeys to send the right commands to teammates to tell them about your situation. Having a good cooperation is required to win. The space of the game is continuous because positions of the players change the outcome. Example if CT is close to the right bomb site, and how close, can also affect the outcome. Simple operative actions such as walking around or switching guns or reloading a gun at the wrong time can easily become a resultant action that affects you and your teammates. The gaming community is still strong for the past 6 years. In the most recent eSport Boston 2018 tournament, it had a peak of 1.8 million viewers on the final game of Cloud9 vs Faz Clan. Playing games is great, but if they're playing 12 hours or more and not going to work or school and not sleeping, they might want to see if they match 5 of these and get help. Chance is usually added in the game to balance the need of skill so new players can still win and have fun. However, it can be addicting. The skins on the market can be purchased with real currency. Interestingly enough, if a player can't stop spending money for a chance of getting good skins, they might have a gambling disorder. The reason why it can be so addicting is because of the near-miss phenomenon. In the freemium lottery crate openings, even though the outcome is predetermined, players feel that they were so close in getting the item they want. Being part of the business model of Valve's, one of the reasons why their business model is so successful is because they are continually engaging the fans. They are constantly developing new skin and graffiti, and they also have software such as the software development kit for fans to create mods and maps, and also the SFM which is the source filmmaker to allow fans to create animations. One of this is the chicken strike as you see. Valve award fans for making these animations with the Sassy Awards. Thanks to fans' meta-interactivity into the game, we constantly get new content added into the game. A good example of this is the cash map. It was originally created by fans but is now used in competitive servers and official tournaments. Because of Valve's continuous support, CSGO continues to get new updates. Speaking of developer involvement, Valve has just updated the user interface for CSGO during the making of this video. Panorama UI, and more updates are expected soon, making the 6 year old game still up to date and modern, competing well with the new upcoming FPS release, at least for now.